cloaks and lives in Pal. She is planning to visit her grandmother in Ladysmith and then her cousin in Port Elizabeth during the December holidays. She will spend a week at each of these places before driving back from Port Elizabeth to Pal. The next year, A shows the strip chart of a route from Cape Town to Port, Port Elizabeth. Use the information in the next year, A, and answer the questions that follow. Number one, take note of this. Uh, the person we are looking at, the person stays in uh, uh, the person stays in The person stays in Pal, but she's planning on visiting the grandmother. The grandmother is in Lady Smith and her cousin in Port Elizabeth. So we are from Pal. So we shall start from Pal. We go to Lady Smith. And eventually we go to PE. All right, let's look at the next chapter. They want us to look at. Uh, write down, write down the number of national roads shown on the strip map. This is the strip map that we see. National roads will start with N. We have N twelve. This is one. Scroll down. Wow, we have N two. This is two. Then we have N1, which is what? 3. Is there any other national road? We don't have any other national road. So the national roads that we see here are 3. All right, they said write down the number of, they didn't say list the national roads. So we have 3 national. Of three national, three national roads. Identify the national parks shown on this map. Identify, identify. Because we'd have gone to the map and we identify, we take them off. But then, anyway, you may mention them. All right. See the identification they said under the map. They say. Note, NP represents or refers to a national park. So we, how many NPs do we see? Start from up here. We see there's one here. So one NP. We've got another NP here. So they have three, sorry, two so far. We come down, we look for NP. In other words, they're represented by these boxes. If where you see a box like that, there's a national park. You see that? Those boxes identify the national parks. So we go on and we say identify, identify the national park shown on the map. So we said we have a do, which is the NP. Then we went to Tsik. It's the Tsitsikama. It's another NEP. And the last one is Bo. Bonte. Bonte Bok. NEP. That's what we are identifying. All right. The time the total distance from Cape Town to PE. We go to the next year. Now, this is PE, Port Elizabeth. Where is it coming from? It comes from Cape Town. Oh, it's from 0 to 779 kilometers. So you write there and you say 700, 779 kilometers. Uh, excuse me.
It is between uh, Swollen Dam and Riversdale. We say we shall go to the map. We shall check it from from here to here. And we shall say now, since Riversdale lies, you see, on this line here, which is the same as this much. Also, Swollen Dam lies on this line here, which is the same as this. Uh, this is 500. Uh, 555. So we shall look for the difference between these two. That's why we had to subtract here, and the answer becomes kilometers. Or if you don't want, you can also use this other right hand side, which is uh, from 224, it has become 304. So how much distance is in between? Still, you get the same answer as what? 80. So we shall take it to be 304. Minus 224, which the answer became 80 kilometers. Now we are calculating the distance between Paul and Lady Smith using the National Road and R. So, what we need to know, Paul is here. So from Pal to reach the other place, you need to from Pal you need to come to Cape Town. So we are saying Pal to Cape Town. Then Cape Town, you need to go up to Riversdale because you're going to Lady Smith. You cannot continue. So we turn it and say so plus Cape Town to Riversdale, then Riversdale to Lady Smith. So from Pal to Cape Town, we are looking at 51 kilometers. It's 51. Then Cape Town to Riversdale, Cape Town 0 to Riversdale, 304. Then Riversdale to Lady, Lady Smith. From here to there, this is the distance, which is 82. So we add on 82. So we are saying Pal to Cape Town, then Cape Town to Riversdale, then Riversdale to Lady Smith. So Pal to Cape Town, we've already seen it as 51, plus Cape Town to Riversdale, we saw it as 304, plus Riversdale to Lady Smith, it's 80. Ask yourself what answer do you end up having? You add them up. It's approximately 434. 1 plus 04 plus. So it's 437 kilometers. Don't forget that. Now, both will be driving a car that consumes, that uses, or that takes. Uh, 5,5 .5 liters for every 100 kilometers. The tank has a capacity of 55 liters. 55 liters. The time the number of liters of fuel needed to travel from Pal to Lady Smith. Pal to Lady Smith. Remember, we've got the distance here. It was Pal to Lady Smith. So the Look at the kilometers that we need to cover. So we shall ask ourselves if 5,5 .5 covers 100 kilometers, what about if I travel 300, sorry, 437 kilometers? How much petrol do I need? I don't know. Leave it as a space. Simply meaning 100 multiplied with the space, giving us. 5,5 .5 times this. So I divide by 100, I divide through by 100. So my empty box equals to 
travel from Pearl to Lady Smith. So we shall need 24,035 liters. This is less. It's less than the target full tank. Nobuth states that she will require two tanks of fuel to reach Port Elizabeth from Pearl. Let's check because now we need to know the distance from Port Elizabeth to Pearl. But remember, uh, from Pearl, she goes to Lady Smith. From Lady Smith, she will continue to PE. So the distance from here to this, we've already seen it as 400 kilometers. But then she would have to look at that. She has, okay, from Lady Smith, she goes to George because there's no straight road to PE. So she has to drive another 45 kilometers plus the 53, 45 is from here to the, this is 45. 45 from there to there then from there to here George then from George you continue so in between here he has covered a distance of 45 We are looking for the so at Pearl, she has to leave Pearl. Sorry, she has moved from Pearl to Lady Smith to visit the grandma. Then we cannot go back to Pearl. We are continuing to PE. So from Lady Smith to PE, what is the distance? So we shall add on the 45, we've seen there, plus the 53, then plus the 67. We are adding on the 45 from Lady Smith to Carlton Draw Stop. Then from Carlton Draw Stop, then we go to Old Room. Here, this one here, which is 53. Then from this place here to this, we need to have 67. That's the distance I'm adding. 45 plus 53 plus 67 to the to George. Then from George to PE, it's going to be George to PE now. Plus on, oh, add on 321. Why? Because we are now on George, which is this, to PE, the line which is there. Let's see. So we are looking for the distance. We are looking for the distance covered totally. Anyway, so we end up having. Uh, so we end up having the distance covered as 900 just going eh? says I require two tanks to reach but so from part to reach mm -hmm. so we, here we go so now these are the distances covered but they have told you each kilometer so if you're 100 kilometers, you take 5.25. So we divide through by 100. Divide through by 100 times 5,5. We are doing the same story, we do same thing like that. So we find out that
approximately 55 so it's 51 liters 51 liters yes i claim might be incorrect or correct in the sense because you cannot drive an empty you cannot drive on you cannot drive on an empty tank so as you see that it's dropping down you need to refill so i believe also the ones that i think that way would be correct but you need to know what do you need to look for we are looking for the number of liters before we say we conclude so here we see that it will need 51 liters of fuel yet the car takes 55 so her statement is valid All right. Nobutle wants to travel at an average, okay? Nobutle was traveling at an average speed of 120 kilometers per hour when using the national roads and 90 kilometers per hour on regional roads. She left the grandmother's place at, she left, this is the departure time, at 15 hours, that's 3 in the afternoon, p.m. Then to visit her cousin, use the information given to calculate the time when she will arrive at her cousin's place. So now she drives this on regional roads. So the, what is the distance on regional roads? That's what, that, that, that's what takes me back here. That she is at Lady Smith. This, this question has a lot of options because if Lady Smith, she has to drive today. To come there so we need to know how much distance was it and how much time did she spend so that's when we come in and we say still you're going to add the 45 plus the 53 plus the 60 67 so this is the distance covered on the on the regional roads where we have 165 kilometers but we are not interested in this we, we need to know how much time was spent here so if the average speed was 90 so time will equal to distance over speed so here we'll divide by 90 I will divide it by 90 gives you 1,88. These are hours and minutes, but so we need to change it. So gives you 1,8. You know, these are hours. So in a, it's the same as one, one hour 50 minutes. That's on the regional road. Then what about the distance? from George to PE because now that's when she's used because on anyone she's driving using this in the normal speed so the distance between George and PE we go back and you see from here because she has traveled now she, she continue at this place she just continued to come back here you see here she has spent one hour 50 minutes what about from here to PE so we shall say the distance from, from here to P is the same as 321. So we shall say 321 divided by 120. These are ours. Turn them into hours and minutes. So she, he spent two hours and 40 minutes. So if she leaves her place, or she, if she leaves the grandma's place and she spends all this much time on the road, what time will she reach? What time will she reach? So simply meaning it has to be three 
That's one hour, 50 minutes, and two hours. Two hours, 40 minutes. So all in all, how much will it be? 